this seafood boil is not in accordance with what is generally done however i do have a seafood boil the traditional method on my facebook page and i think it's already on youtube hi everyone welcome back today we're gonna make some shrimp boil i'm actually not going to boil the shrimp so welcome i'm happy to have you and let's get started so i have my shrimp here already rinsed and pat dry i am going to add I am just going to grease up the shrimp a little bit and we're going to add some Cajun, some Creole and some garlic herb. I do have some Zatarain's shrimp boil but I'm not going to use it as yet. We're going to use it in the sauce. So we're going to lightly season the shrimp. This is a salt free garlic and herb seasoning. We're going to add some of that and I'm adding some Creole all purpose seasoning and a little Cajun seasoning. I'm also gonna add some paprika on this to give the shrimp a little color. I'm gonna place the shrimp in the refrigerator while I get my corn and my potatoes ready. This is a sausage that I'm going to use as well. It's an andouille sausage. I'm also going to cut up my potatoes. So you can use the small red ones if you want, but these are what I have at home. I think this is a reasonable size for your boil. Or if you want them bigger that's totally fine so one corn I'm gonna cut in three pieces just like that now to my boiling water we're gonna add our corns and our potatoes to boil and to that I will add some seafood seasoning and some salt now this is a mix of spices it's from the Zatarain's brand it's crawfish shrimp and crab boil and it contains mustard seed coriander seed pepper flakes dill seed bay leaf and allspice now this Zatarain's liquid um crab and crawfish boil it's very spicy it is one of the star of the show so add a little bit if you can't take too much spice but don't leave it out all right we're gonna go ahead and get our sausage ready as well Give them a slant look so that they can look nice on the plate. Now I'm gonna give my shrimp a nice sear. We're just gonna sear them for like two minutes on each side. We're not gonna cook them fully because I'm gonna add them to the sauce afterwards for an extra two minutes. Now these sausages are pre-cooked. We're gonna give them about a minute on each side just to give them a little color so they can look presentable and they don't rip apart. Now for the fun part, we're gonna make our sauce. I'm gonna add a stick of butter, some garlic. Go ahead and add your desired amount of garlic. I will also add some chopped onions we're gonna saute those for a little and then we're gonna add some lemon juice everything that I'm using will be placed in the description box now that seasoning that I added in the corns I'm adding some along with some chopped parsley now be mindful of this seasoning it does have a lot of dill seed and mustard seed in it and if I could go back I wouldn't add it in my sauce it's fine in the corn boiling but I wouldn't add it in the sauce so I added some of the Zatarain's liquid some paprika and I'm adding some zatarain spotted seasoning as well. You just have to get creative when you're making your seafood sauce. I'm adding some orange, fresh orange juice. I use the juice from two orange. You can use the shells from your shrimp to make some homemade shrimp broth. Or if you have some in your fridge, go ahead and use it. And to add some creaminess to my seafood sauce, I'm adding some shrimp sauce. 
all right the last time that i made seafood boil i use a different one this time i'm trying the yum yum to see how it comes out all right the sauce was delicious as i said before the only thing that i would take away from it is the dill seed and the mustard seed and use just the red pepper flakes the bay leaf and the allspice otherwise everything else was amazing once i add the shrimp sauce in there i turn it off and remove it from the heat and i'm gonna pour some on my potatoes and corns and my sausage i will also remove some for dipping and then i will put the shrimp in the rice and give them like two minutes on the stove the traditional way for making the seafood boil is already on facebook but i will post it in the comments so here I made a bowl for all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Don't keep the recipe to yourself. Go ahead and share it with a friend or a family. And if you enjoy the video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel when you do that. Everything will be in the description box. And for those watching from Facebook, you already know that the ingredients will be listed in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.